Hello, everybody. Today, we're doing something a little different. Uh, so, I said I would start a shipbuilding series here, and we're going to start with the very basics of how to get your ship designed. And uh, there is someone I want to give credit to. Big Baron, because he's, he, he's a pretty... He makes pretty cool uh, Age of Sail ships, and personally, I got this technique from him. So I think you should probably watch his videos on that technique, but we're going to start right here with what we have. Uh, it's a lot simpler than you probably think it is. I know this all looks really complex, and this specifically is the cruiser Emile Berton. Which is a French cruiser. It's a light cruiser, so... Something not really huge, but something most people could probably do. And... We're gonna start... With, uh... The outline. So you want a good outline. This cruiser, right here. I, I just use the... Uh, you can do this like by hand if you want. But I use this tool, the align tool on Paint.net. That's that's what I'm using, by the way, is Paint.net. If anyone's wondering, so this is all fuel storage. So what I have to do is make sure that's incorporated in the design. So I'm gonna. Line it here. Line it here. Also make sure to put a line to where this isn't. Well, this isn't fuel storage. This up to here, I think, is right here. So this is going to be a funky hole. Uh... here keep this try to keep this at uh, zero degrees and I just noticed something okay you want to know why it's doing that it's because this isn't exactly exactly uh actually it is parallel huh no, oh, it's just this cruiser a little weird. Uh, so I guess I'll do that. It has a little curve up front. It's a little funky. That doesn't look right though. So we're gonna stop it. Line stops there. Oh yeah, that's a little funky. This is actually level, and so sometimes you find plants you want to do, and they're not level. But this one is. It's just kind of weird how this hole is shaped. So do something like that's a little funky to do. I'm sorry. Just take a man a second. That's kind of weird. Never really seen a hole that does that. So from like right here, it angles up until right here. And that's a curve. So you curve it down there, come here, a couple adjustments. You can always do that. Make sure it looks right. It doesn't. There. Next. You gotta do the deck. But you gotta find the main deck anyway, so... For how this hole is shaped... And how the cruiser specifically is shaped, so I'm looking at other sources. 
Sometimes you can go out, make sure. I'm going to profile this ship while you're doing this. It helps a lot. So come here. Get this little front edge. It's actually pretty shallow, all things considered. Something like that. Straight down. Oh, funky shape. But I bet you're starting to get the gist of this. This is all the simple stuff right here. Uh, maybe this thing is a little off kilter. Well, I can just flatten that area out. It's not that hard. Next, I want to see something here. This is where it being off kilter matters a lot. So if I put it right there, yeah, it should be like that. So how many degrees off is it? Uh, I think the point. It's point. Uh, sorry, my brain's farting. Three, three. So I need to rotate this bottom part. Come over here. Select. And I think it was 0.33. That's point. Three, two. Yeah, it's a little tricky doing this. So I'll go with point three two. That's the closest I'm probably gonna get it. I'll take off layer two. I'll add another layer. Layer. Go to layer two real quick. I'm just gonna delete. It's in here. That control X test put a test line through it and see if it's roughly roughly even. Uh, yeah, it's it's actually that's perfect. That's the exact angle you want. So and then do. So let's say this is the start point right here. I want these to be aligned. And which they're not, because I think this is a little deck below that. I think that's right. I think that's representing right here. Yeah, it is. It's not a perfect example of the top side. Because it's not the top side. It does show the main deck layout. So you can probably work off of this from a midline. But I'm probably going to go back in later. I'm just trying to show you how to do this all. So you come over here. And the angle isn't perfect up front. You can play around. With it until it is right there, there, and come here. I'll only do it to up there. There, angle that a little better. Nope, oh, got there. And this. So, I will tell you, you can do this for interior work. Like, I do. I do this for interior work, for example. 
Uh, been more recent. Yeah. I laid up the interior of the cruiser Bolzano, the one I was showing you. Doing that, I put lines. I use a lot of different colors. I like to use different colors so things are distinguished. Like I use orange for my turrets. Red I used for fuel tank. And gray I just used for floor. And blue is for the walls. So now we get into the fun part. Let's just say you don't want to do any of the superstructure yet or anything. You're probably going to have to rescale it later anyway. I just want to know how to get this to one to one. How do, how, do I, how do I get this Minecraft sized? Well, knowing that everything is one meter by one meter, the blocks are at least, I come here, I go back to the very end point. Let's see. 1392. That's how big it says our uh, square here is in length. So what you'll do is you go look up the length for this cruiser. It is 177, 177 meters. So you'll divide 177 by the length of this box. So essentially what you're doing is you're dividing the length of the actual ship by the box, box's size, to see how the scale works. So in this case, it's supposed to be 0.12 of the image. Oh, wait, it didn't... Ah, I see something. I screwed up a little with OBS. If I switch over here, I don't think it shows it. Oh, it does. Never mind. Anyway. So I have this number. I have 0.121... 127-155-17241. So, you then come to your little dimensions of the actual size of the thing. So, this 1483, right here. You multiply that, 1483, by the number you got by dividing the length of the ship by the box length that, that you got for the ship, right here, this box. And you just put that in a calculator, and it says 188.57. So, you're not going to get exact, generally. So, what I like to do is I, I'll first round up, and if that doesn't work, I'll go back, round down. So, 189. Let's see, how long is this? Right here to right here should be 170. Okay, so I go back, layers, resize, 188. Now that should be a perfect length, 177, yeah. And how tall is it? Knowing how tall it is is actually pretty helpful. I'll probably flatten that bottom line right there, but 15. That's decent. I, that can store a decent amount of stuff. And if I do that, 17. It's actually too wide. But I'd rather a ship be too wide because the actual thing is about 16 meters wide. So you add a block anyway. So it works out. And that's how you do outlines. They're not very hard. You can do them from the interior. Just make sure to color code. That's my advice is get the colors. I'll show you... Open recent should be somewhere around here. The actual scaled one. Yeah, here's here, here's one of the finished products of the scaled. And this is me going a lot more detailed. So I did the superstructure. I did the funnels. I did where the barbettes are. I don't ever do the guns because I usually do those myself. I even put a little thing right here because there's a little support thing. And the range finder. I don't usually do the range finder. I always do the range finder platform, but I don't usually do the range finder itself. Crane. Catapult. I think there's one more that I have in the recents that I can open. 
Is this one? Yeah. It's this, and this is how the interior turned out. And you're going to notice, that looks god-awful. You can't fit in a one-block space. And there's one block space right here. There's one block space right here. So what you do is you just move the floor down a little bit. I mean, it's not too complex, but you, sometimes you got to do it. And for superstructure, you actually increase the size of the superstructure. It's okay if the superstructure looks a little bigger. It probably will be. And that's the basics of line work for holes. They're not very hard. It's just not very uh, difficult to just put lines where everything goes. And like this right here, like I, I knew this was engine rooms and boiler rooms, and then you had torpedo rooms, so I colored them all different. And that's really the basics. Nothing too far after that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, I, I, I will actually do it tomorrow. And tomorrow's thing will be fun. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's will be actually starting the whole. So see you guys next time.